Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of The Awesome Club. My name is Steve and this is a special video I put together of a bunch of footage that my wife and I took when we were over at the Kennedy Space Center and we had a special behind the scenes tour of the amazing space camps that they run. The tour was facilitated by the Chief Operating Officer Theron Protz who was extremely generous with his time and got to show us some of the intricacies of the tour behind the scenes. We had a look at STEM programs, we had a look at robotics, we had a look at vegetation habitats and a whole bunch of incredibly exciting and engaging things and Awesome Club is all about engaging students and trying to get them motivated and inspired. We fight against bullying and we try to make students come together in an inclusive environment and that's exactly what these space camps over in NASA promote and to be honest with you it was absolutely incredible and if your school can afford it and put it together, budget for it, get your students over there to experience the Kennedy Space Center space camps, they will not regret it, you will not regret it, it's an incredible experience. So hope you enjoy the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to The Awesome Club and we'll see you soon. We're on a mission to stop bullying, solve emergencies and help create the next generation of innovators. Go to awesomeclub.co, download our free app and sign up to The Awesome Club to become part of something inspirational. It's so awesome! Yes. So what happens is they do all this, there's, there's virtual reality vibe, they learn how to work on Mars there. Yep. That gets really immersive. Yep. And then after that, they come over here and they check in. microgravity by the way that's a lot of fun so that that's like what it you simulated ISS truss and then when they try to turn a wrench like they do on earth in, in that simulate space they just spin around like this yeah. yeah of course so they go up here up here up here is a Mars transport vehicle and that, that takes them in there. It's, it's a it's a motion based platform, but it, it simulates them going to Mars. Okay, and they got headsets on. Do that? No, no, it's a oh, full. It's yeah, here I'll show you real quick. It looks like simulating walking up the gantry, right? So. Yeah. so this is a full. It's ten feet deep right here. Yep. Wow. So then they go in here, and this it basically takes them to Mars. So, you know, it's just a little simulator to keep them in the story, and then they land on Mars. Oh, man. Oh, that's funny. Like I said, you're the best job in the world. You know what's fun? It's a lot like you with Lego. So I see the vision in my head, yeah. and then to build it, and actually see it under reality. Yeah. It's a true sense. Happiness. So how do you connect with like the, the main NASA uh, teams? Do you, well, you, you come, you must we'll be yeah, constantly. Yeah. Yeah. NASA watches over our contract, so we're constantly uh, in partnership with them. Okay. Yeah. So this is uh, so we cheated a little bit to get to Mars. So welcome to Mars. Yeah. Uh, here's this is the uh, solar robotics. So this is where they learn. How to program robots and then, and then they clean these are actual working we use the light to simulate the sun yep. we have transparent OLEDs touch screens yep. and they download all their formulas and then they watch the robot clean the panel and then it grades them how well they did and even says that if they graded if they use too much energy they basically uh, they lose hot showers or the movie doesn't play overnight because they drain the electrical in the half so, and are they using the Mindstorm software? Did yeah, they yeah. They, we, we kept it, you know, yeah. pretty, pretty simple. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, Lego would love that. Absolutely, that's a good point. So here's where they get off on the ride. And so that looks like a Mars door lock. And then yeah. Regina Sarver, this young lady right here, she's the first commander on Mars. Uh -huh. She greets you right here and welcomes you to Seoul. all the work that's happening in each one of the souls and then it's a round robin you could go there or you come here you know here's here's the habitat here's where we learn about cartography communication satellites hab management medical management of the crew um, everything is all interactive and again these little squares right here, Steven, those are your, that's your RFID antennas. So it's still tracking you in here as well. And how many students would you have? We can do 180 at the same time. Yeah. And then this is kind of cool, you get a kick out of this. 
This is a real uh, Veggie Lab habitat. So Veggie Lab is the is a NASA contractor, and so we use FarmBot. And uh, it was great about this lab is that Veggie Labs is actually tracking all the data they get from the students and using it for their research. Incredible. So awesome. So they use a digital microscopes. They use these touchscreen OLEDs again. I wanted that Minority Report kind of cool feel. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. they do this and then make it kind of in the 2050s. And, and again, you're being tracked the whole time. Incredible. The other fun thing that they get to do, is, you remember the Martian? Yeah. When he taught you. So they walk up and, it, and uh, they use RFID and then they get to make little logs. Yep. Mark Watney, space pirate. It looks like it's sending it back home to Earth yeah. and then they get a micro site of, the, of, the, uh, you know, of their uh, life story when they're here. One of my favorite movies of all time. Yeah, me too. Looking for some hot stuff. And over here, this is their gallery. So this is this is a dual purpose room. So what happens is, is they uh, they basically get in here, and this is where after they train as an astronaut, you see the blue. Well, when they leave, these these uh, switch to windows for Mars, and these go to orange lights, and this becomes their gallery. But they're so turned around, they don't yeah. realize this is the same room. Right, right. So smart. So smart. Designed by yours truly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the education team gets all the credit. Well, they need the vision. They need direction. It's, it's great. Uh, it's, it's, it's been truly phenomenal. It's funny, here's a sky crane which lowers the transport vehicle that's they're actually in there. Oh, and when they're done, they go, they get a whole simulation back to Earth and they land at Kennedy Space Center and now they're officially veteran astronauts. We, we just went off on the uh, Millennium Falcon. Oh, did you? Uh, Star, uh, Star Wars? Yeah, yeah, similar sort of thing. You, you, the, you know, planet back to, you get in the Millennium Falcon and you take off the simulates that's awesome. But I think this is more. Well, we, I always like when, when I talk to my Disney friends, I like to say we're fantastic. Yes. <laughs> this is funny here because now on their HUD display, your helmet, it'll say dust storm. You turn around, and there's this huge Mars dust storm, and the kids just start running. That's what we had to actually see. It can be 20 to 30 kilometers high. And in fact, the dust can get charged. And in the case of these really tall dust storms, lightning can strike. So it tracks through the entire complex of the education center. So at the end, it gives them a micro site that tells them what they did, what STEM activities applied to what they did. And then they did really great in this area. Maybe they ought to be this for that. So it tries to recruit them for the next, for their, hopefully, next level of their career. And then, so your educators then connect with the teachers and talk about them. We also have that too. And they probably design. For and actions right now, it's, it's this is uh, we have like eight different ones, season, but yeah, different ones. Have have that's incredible. When you have dialogue to oh, see yeah. the task bar, so they talk to their uh, to colleagues in the, in the capsule, the talk yeah. and read your line, and then, uh, or you can select the talk for me option to have the simulation speak for you. You'll notice that Theron was carrying around a poster of a 2020 Corvette convertible that was launched earlier that day at the Kennedy Space Center, signed by a bunch of astronauts and given to me as a gift, which is now framed and put up on the wall in my home. Very, very stoked with this particular gift. Also, if you don't know, that model that's sitting behind me was the grand prize entry into the NASA Lego design competition, Moon to Mars. The whole reason that I got to fly over there and meet and greet the team and have this tour in the first place. So very, very stoked with everything that NASA have done for me. I couldn't be more happy. Thank you again. Men and women, engineers and astronauts, designers and thinkers who turn dreams into history. We're about to see another example of that. Our goal here at the Visitor Complex is to tell the NASA story in the most compelling and immersive way.